that. All right. So let's see how he is. Oh, hi, I'm David. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you for coming. Hi, Jessica. Jessica. Nice to nice meet, meet you. you. Mm -hmm. He pretty much went after the child. He was not very happy that oh, wow. the baby was on the on the pavement in front of me. And um, he did exactly that and kind of ran towards him and the, the dad picked him up in time, but it was just a little too much for me. So what happens is the chihuahua, when his energy level increases, because they tend to be more hyper than a pit bull, yeah. the pit bull will say, I have to compete with you. And in that competition, it actually increases the aggression and the problems you'll have. It's a different dynamics when you have two dogs versus one. Absolutely. So you get out there and see another baby stroller or another dog coming by, the little chihuahua says, I'm insecure, I'm no fool, I know I'm small, so I'm going to have the Napoleon complex, right? And he says, I'm going to build the Maginot line now, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, right. And then the pit comes in and says, oh, really? No, it's a competition. I'm the one to greet first. I'm getting out there and I'm going to show you what kind of beef I got. Yeah. And then it just, they go into the... <laughs> in territory and, and be able to create a better baseline. So we take dogs into the red zone for a reason, because you've got to know where they're, where they're capable of going and how far you have to go to rehabilitate. Because we can all study in a library, but can you study in a job? Off, Winston. Now I'm going to let his brain cool, because he wanted to challenge me for a while. Winston, off. Now I'm going in his, in his, see, I'm not giving him a break. Look at that, submissive. Look how close I have him. Off, off, he made eye contact. Don't punk him, it's stop crime again in Siberia, five years. See? <laughs> Nyet. Sit down, stay. See that? Yeah, he doesn't care about my dog. My dog wagged his tail, I noticed a few times. He knows your dog's getting rehabilitated. Mm -hmm. He's happy. He doesn't want you. He, my dog would rather play with yours, trust me. Okay, Jessica, drum roll. Okay. So we're going to switch. Down. Tell him to stay. Stay. Now I want you to slowly take the leash and extend out and go towards that car. Let the leash loose. Good, Winston. See that? Yeah. Constantly reminding the dog who's boss, how to work with the dog, getting the establishing eye contact is going to be their main goal until we meet again. And we meet again, I predict a very good result where we actually be able to start approaching strangers and new dogs. So in conclusion, I would say that this situation is going to turn out in their favor and they're going to have a very happy birth and great time with that relationship with both dogs.